Let's see if I'm doing this properly. Looks like I am, kinda. Oh, no, don't do that. Hello, people that have arrived. How are you doing? I am setting up my computer because I'm professional and I haven't done that yet, so bear with me. Um. Okay, where am I? What am I doing? There, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm muting that and I am sharing this on social media because that's what you're meant to do. Okay, where, where are we? Sorry, I'm not very good at this. Two seconds. Two seconds. Right, I think I tweeted that. I think that was successful. How are you all doing? Right, okay. So, for people that come to my streams often, you will know that I am not good with technology. I'm very, very crap actually. So I'm streaming from my phone, so you here are my phone and in front of me is the computer so I don't miss any super chats, any comments, questions, all that kind of good stuff. So if I look like this, it's because I'm trying to read everything. Um, one day I will organise myself and I will sort that out, but until then we do it on the phone. So. What is happening so far? Jesus Fry Christ for, I think, Canadian dollars, possibly. Uh, congrats on the grill. Thank you very much. For y'all who don't know, we did a gender review video today and we're having a wee lassie. A wee girl. It's very exciting. Look at my hair. What's it doing? Also, I'm very uncomfortable ooh, in my own body, so if I do a lot of like shifting and like oons noises, uh, that's why. I'm just trying to get comfortable. Um, so thank you very much, Jesus for Christ, for the Canadian moolah. Please turn your mic up and congrats. Well, you know, I would do that if I wasn't recording from my phone. Uh, I don't know. I, I can't help you. Um, oh, no, don't do that. Nope. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. I can't go any louder. Um, I'm on my phone. I'm so sorry. Right. So today, unboxing wise, we actually have like six boxes here. Now, I have an issue a wee bit because during lockdown, I didn't receive any boxes and I assumed it was because it was lockdown and they weren't sending boxes from wherever they were coming from, like China, Japan, whatever. I just assumed we weren't getting any. So I'd, I was like, whatever, fine. I definitely paid for them though. And then the other week there, I got like two packages in the same day and they like arrived like this in, in Royal Mail plastic. Um, and apparently it's because they're water damaged. And if I have any complaints, I have to log them with Royal Mail. I haven't opened them yet. One of the bags is a bit condensation -y inside, so that's exciting. So, I mean, it's, it's like, it's like burst open here. And it's very swollen and damp. Um, so we're going to see how those boxes turn out. I'm not going to complain to the Royal Mail because, you know what, they're a bit stretched as it is. Um, mistakes happen. It's fine. I think what's happened is the boxes have came on time and they've just maybe been missed and then maybe been damaged and then been found. And then, oh, 
Oh, my phone. Right, let's try that again. So, I think the boxes have been missed, then they've been damaged, and then they've been found, and then they've been, like, sent. So I don't, I just won't complain, because the Royal Mail are, are very pushed, as I say, for, like, people and staff, and they do a lot, so I won't bother. Oh! Kodiak, uh, for five, it's nearly 4am in Australia, and I've been up for 24 hours, so I'm off to bed. Here's some dosh, love your channel, I'm off to bed, good night. Good night, and thanks very much for the, for the dollars. I don't know why you've been away for 24 hours, but make sure you get at least 12 hours sleep to catch up on what you've missed. And thank you very much. Gengar, the, the baby is a, a female. Wee lassie. Wee girly. So I'm, going to, I'm actually going to start um, opening these disgusting boxes, and we'll see how we get on. I'm going to see if I can move you back a wee bit. Oh... Right, nothing bad happened. Everything's fine. So, do I have scissors? Yeah, I've got these wee Andrew scissors. Right. I'm terrified there's like a smell. I don't deal with smells very well. And I'm terrified that this box is going to have like a twisty damp smell. So far, nothing. So, this is what we've got. You can see it's quite it's quite smooshed. No good. So we'll open it and see. Now this one I was meant to get on where is it? No, oh, there is it tells me somewhere but I can't see it. But I think I was supposed to get it a wee while ago anyway. What if there's like beasties in here, like cockroaches and stuff? Oh, oh, I'm scared. Oh, scary biscuits. Right, hold on. I can't. Oh, right, I'm going to need stronger scissors. Oh, there's some now. Oh, pray for me, everyone, that there's not like beasties in here. No beasties, but it does look like one of the toys has like no it seems okay actually. So this is um the, the biggest thing in this box, which is a poo bear. One of the poo. Now this side here was the bit that was touching the side of the cardboard that was wet. And for a minute I thought that the colour had leaked onto the white, but it hasn't. There's no smell. Just making sure. No, no smell. The actual toy itself doesn't feel damp. So, I think it may be alright actually. So here we've got a poo bear. I'm not a big fan of poo. I am um, mostly because I'm 32 years old. But I never was a fan of poo bear. But there's nothing wrong with this other than now being sniffed by me. Um, so, yeah, I will keep this for people. Now, next we have a cup. Again, no smell, it's not wet. It's like ceramic y. Splatoon. It says Splatoon all over it. I actually don't know who that is. Uh, Supuru Manubu, Manuba, don't know, but there you go, a cup, a glass, also we'll give this away. Right, we've got a cinnamon roll, don't know what it is yet. Is, oh, does that feel wet? I'm just like, oh wait, no, no it's just cold. <laughs> I keep going, oh it's wet, oh it's wet, but it's, it's not wet, it's just, it's just cold. It doesn't smell bad at all. So it's like a, like a blankie, like a, like a, like a thing. I don't really know what, is that for babies maybe? I don't know man, it shows you here, it folds out to be a, a thing. I don't know, what do you use it for? 
to me that's like a baby thing but yeah again absolutely fine doesn't stink isn't wet so good i think it was just the cardboard took most of the damage to be fair the cardboard's pretty thick so what's the chat saying everyone talking about my daughter that's so funny <laughs> a wee lass um yeah both marcus and boom will have firstborn daughters uh, Gotcha son says, just finished the video, thanks so much. So thanks, congratulations, he says, and I said thank you. So, what is this? Mark is in the state, okay. <laughs> uh, clown's here, hello clown, how you doing? What else? Right. What else do you need? Or is there a registry? What? Daughter's name, Sue to Electric Boogaloo? No, no. Anyway, so this thing, that'll go in the in the giveaway box that I always fill. What else have we got? Well, we've got a Animal Crossing thing. Oh, that's cool. So, it's like a sticker. It's an Able Sister sticker. On the back, it's got like a suitcase with all the stickers on it. It must be all the stickers you can collect. Um, Oh, yes, sticker. So that's pretty cool. Travel sticker. Do enjoy. And then lastly, we have a uh, good nama or good tag or whatever his name is. I can't. It's like the egg guy, the really sad egg guy. Good, 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 good nama. Something like that. Uh, I hate him. I just hate him. He's just this wee sad, depressed egg that like whinges all the time but the thing I hate about him most is he's got these wee like shiny butt cheeks he's always got his butt cheeks out man it, 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 it's uncomfortable to say the least so we have that and that's a mouse mat so the sheer hatred that I have for him means he's going away um, so what is that towel thing supposed to be what a surprise towel yeah it's just a towel the other one was a mystery plushie. And then the other ones were the Sanrio cups, you could get anything. The mouse mat, you could either have got him or it looks like a My Melody. Good in Tama, that's how you say it. Anyway, so that's that box. So it looks like the, the cardboard took the front of the, the liquid. There's not any other damage to the stuff inside. So that's nice. So we have two damaged boxes, so we'll get through the two damaged ones first. Jeremy, I swear to God, congrats, please use this money on a chastity belt. Well, I mean, I have these through IVF, so chastity belts doesn't make a difference, really. But thanks, and also, uh, don't send me so much money. I sent you a fiver the last time, which means you probably got like six dollars most. Or is it four dollars? You sent me a hundred dollars, you mean Thank you very much. But don't do that again, because I don't know, I can't threaten you with anything. But thank you. I appreciate that. This box seems more damaged. Oh this one says item damaged before arriving in the UK. What if it's full of like foreign beasties? I'm scared. I'm scared. Uh, right. right. So we've cut a wee hole. So far, no smell. The enclosed item sent from abroad and addressed to you was received damage by the Royal Mail at the point of entry into the UK. If you think that any items contained within the package are missing or damaged, please ask the sender to contact the postal authority with whom the item was originally posted. Nah, seems like effort though, doesn't it? Right. 
so it's out of the plastic. I don't believe in for a minute that it was damaged outside the UK because it's got a big bit of sellotape across here, right? And they're not usually sealed with sellotape, they're usually sealed with a sticker. So unless the company who posted it was like, oh here, this is damaged, stick sellotape on it. But there's not like there's no residue of where the sticker came off. I don't know. I don't know. Someone's playing funny buggers. Jeremy, I just told you to stop sending me money. The chastity belt is for your daughter, not you. Fair enough. I okay. That's fine. I'm alright with that. Right. Oh. Oh, I thought I had something like creepy crawling inside it. Wait, I'm not. Oh. oh, I'm so scared. Also, I'm not showing you open the boxes because I'm stupid enough to show you my address. Um. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna go for it. If you see me loop a mile, it's because something's fell out of the box. It's too long in here. Okay. It seems to be alright, I think. Oof, 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 holy. Ugh. Disgusting. Oh, I mean, the stuff in this box is really cute. Right, okay. So, first thing we have, which I won't be giving away or using, and we'll actually have to in, which is a real crying shame, is a, it's actually like a My Neighbour Totoro toothbrush, because this is the packaging that it came in. So it's obviously been wet and it's fell out. Oh, that's so cute, man. And I'd have used the shit out of that. Because it's soft as well. Apparently when you're pregnant, you have to use a soft toothbrush because it's something to do with, I don't know, pregnancy, ginger beaters or something. But yeah, I would have used the shit out of that, but now I won't. I'll probably still use it for like cleaning stuff. I like to toothbrush with my taps and stuff. So that's a real shame. Um... Other than that, everything else is fully sealed or plastic. We do have this, um, which is obviously sprouted away. It's like in a plastic sheet, so it's like saved. So that's good. Um, I think it's actually just a folder. Yeah, it's just a plastic folder, so you put your, your work in it. Yeah, so I'll peel that back over and we'll give that away as well because that's pretty cool. Very different. Uh, next we have uh, a Spirit of the Way postcard, it's also pretty cool, and it's also fully sealed, so no damage, no issue, all is good, all is well. Um, we have, I mean, we have a book that, like, doesn't open. <sighs> yeah, so, right, okay, I'm not going to read it. So we've got a handbag, again fully sealed. So it looks like your options were a Totoro handbag and this one's obviously that, is it Kiki's Lovely Service? Is it? I think so. I don't know, it doesn't tell me, or it does tell me and I've ripped it off. But I'm pretty sure it's Kiki's. Um, and then, oh yeah, that is Kiki's because we also have a Kiki's tub. So Kiki's Lovely Tub. So I am all about stationery, so I'll keep this. But I'll give away the handbag. It's fully sealed. Doesn't smell. All is well. All is good and well with the world. This is useless, so I'm not even going to read it. So, fantastic thing is, all the disgusting stuff's done, so we don't need to deal with that anymore. Happy day. What's happening with the chat? What are you saying? Um, Loch Ness Monster is a female, so it's gender will be female. Well, hi. What? Uh, I clean shoes to a toothbrush. Maybe not shoes. I'm maybe too late to clean shoes with a toothbrush. But I do use. I use it for like um. Ah, wee bits. I use it for like see like my washing machine and the drum, and you like get rid of the seal. Um, that's a bit gross, but that's what I do. Um. Where are you going to name the baby? Uh, I'm not going to tell you that because I need to have some secrets in my life. <laughs> uh, no, I think we do have a couple of names we like, but um, you don't know. 
until I see her wee face. Like, how are you supposed to know? What if I call her, like, Sandra, and she looks like a Sharon or something? Obviously, I don't like... It's not I don't like those names. I just don't want those names. There's nothing wrong with those names, but... You know what I mean? It's like giving birth to, like, a Paul, but he looks like a Stephen. You need to wait and see what they look like, you know? Um, someone just said Little Nessie. To be fair, Nessie is quite a cool name. <laughs> Um, if you all move to the States, I'll give Marcus the 1911 double barrel shotgun I used to sit in the front porch with cleaning when my daughter would have collars. Um, Marcus, I think Marcus will be okay for weapons wise. He doesn't have like weapons, like things that are illegal, but he does have like he's got a crossbow and stuff, he's got like, a claymore, all that kind of stuff. So I think, I think he's softy, but that's a very, very kind offer. Um, Jungle Puzzle Hey Sue, big fan of Dank but just found out about your daughter and congrats, much love from South Africa Ooh, thank you very much I appreciate So, we just opened two Yumi Twin boxes We do have two We've got one Yumi Twins box left One Doki Doki box and two Inku boxes So we're going to open an Inku box because why not, eh? Why not? So, thank you for y'all who don't know. Is a, a stationery box. It's supposed to be like a cute kawaii Japanese stationery box. I'm all about stationery. I absolutely love stationery. So that, I thought was a great idea. So far, the boxes have been pretty gash. Haven't been great. So we'll see how it goes. I think after these two, if they're terrible, I might change to like something else. don't know. Okay, so also all the boxes from now on, not what damaged, all as well. So first thing we have is like this wee notepad. Tan tan little notepad. Uh, I mean, it's half square and then half just that shit. So like this is the page you're supposed to write on, like you're supposed to write happy that. That seems a bit crap. And then the half of the book is like squares so I don't know man yeah. uh, next we have masking tape or washi tape it's just a flower pattern that's quite cute I quite like that, that'd be nice for gifts and whatnot. not uh, flower garden so I, I've never had a use for washi tape next we have a joint stamp, that's cute okay so this is a pen that is stamps and it's got different designs on it like what you can actually stamp. I don't know if any of that is focused so you can see it but that's quite cute. I really do enjoy that. I don't enjoy it enough for me to use it but I enjoy it enough to give it away as a gift because I think that's pretty cute. So we'll put them there. Next we have jungle stickers, which is kind of cool because it's better than just random stickers. I hate it when you just send you random like Disney stickers that are like spongy and glittery and stuff and it's like Minnie Mouse and you're like, why? I don't know. Uh, so these, one is a menu idea and the other one is a travel plan. So travel plan's got like stickers for different kinds of travel, calendars, uh, food, all that kind of stuff, cameras and whatnot. That's pretty cool as a menu idea. I just, I just, put, just put my elbow in a pair of scissors there. That's, that was clever. So, a uh, menu idea. So, it's like different kinds of food. I think that's pretty cool. I quite enjoyed that. Rice bowl, rice noodles, all that kind of stuff. Hmm. They're pretty cool. I like them. Oh, right. Next, we have a binder, an A5. This is like my favourite colour. I call this Polly Pocket Purple because there's a lot of Polly Pockets over this colour. And it's just a binder. That's all. So you open it up, you put your files and stuff in. Oh, my bad, just finished rendering. Right. Next, we have. Oh, that'll be why I've got a binder because I've sent it to giving you these as well to go in your binder. So, what are these? 
It's a weekly refill of what? What diary? Okay. So it's thirty pages of Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Well, obviously, they'll have every day of the week, not just Monday, Wednesday. Um, and you just write on them, I suppose. So that's that's it there. That's what it looks like. So you have 30 pages, three this and this, and then all your stickers to go away. So that's pretty cool. And then look at this. That's a PVC cover. So it's just a plastic cover, but I assume well it's got a glitter in it. And I assume that you then put all this jargon like in here. So that actually was quite cool because you've got your stamps, your stamps, your journal, your stickers, your folder, your plastic folder. That was quite nice. I have journals coming out my ears. So if I didn't have journals coming out my ears, that would be great. But I have a journal for everything. I have an IVF journal. I have like a, like a things you're thankful for journal. Um, hundreds of them. Hundreds. So, so far the Inku box has redeemed itself and I will remain a customer. Uh, Buddha is meowing as a 35 year old cat. So he is, um, that noise you hear is him breathing out or in one of them. There's a Tokyo Snacks one that looks good uh, from City of Figs. I, I had Tokyo Treats before. I've had the, so the one I had, I had Tokyo Treats. I had the, that candy box thing. I've had a few of them, but um, it was all just videos of torture. It was just videos being like, let's watch Sue and Agony eating um, like five cheese and wasabi, uh, what do you call them? Cheetos. The things were disgusting. There was like a lot of seaweed flavoured things, a lot of fish flavoured things. And um, I'll be honest, as a as a pregnant person, uh, most things right now make me terribly sick. And the idea of eating those things makes me want to die. So I think I'll with, with refrain from those for now. I might go back to them one day, but I don't see myself doing it anytime soon. There is a box you can get that's like noodles. So they send you like different kinds of noodles every week, every week, every month. Um, which would be cool because Marcus eats a lot of noodles. But I don't think he'd be interested in like doing a collab where he eats noodles with me. Um, and I would only really, really eat vegetarian noodles, which there isn't a lot of. I think the noodles is tangier, like fishy and stuff. I don't know. Oh, five dollars from Hot Sprinkles. Alphabet pasta, also referred to as alphabeti spaghetti in the UK. Is a pasta that has been mechanically cut or pressed into letters of the alphabet. That's true. And thank you very much for the five dollars. You also get um I don't know if you probably get it elsewhere as well. In the UK you get pasta that's like shaped like willies or boobs and stuff. And you get also get like postman pat pasta, hello kitty pasta, all that good stuff, just to make your kids eat. Right, let's open the last Inku box and then we'll open Doki Doki and we'll finish with a Yumi Twin, shall we? Oh, and you get a Scooby Doo one. I just went um, City of Figs there, so the Scooby Doo, definitely Scooby Doo pasta. Right, again, same sort of setup. We have another tiny, tiny booklet, but this one just says, We love. Kigurumi friends and the first half of the book looks like this oh wait no so it's just lines so that's not so bad and then the second half of the book is like that so I think you can draw pictures and stuff so that's all right next we have a mild liner brush so I think it's just a, like a pen so let's try it out So it's got two ends to it. This is the pen. It's all right. 
nice wee purple pen. Says it's got two ends to it. Yeah, it does. It's got a tiny wee nib, and then it's got like paintbrush nib. Next we have potato marker. Potato. Me. What's it say? Well, it says things in Japanese, but I think it's just a highlighter. It's a very, very cute highlighter, but I think it is just a highlighter. But on the back, it's like your phone book and all this other kind of jargon. But whatever. We'll have a wee look at the book in a wee second and we'll see. Uh, joint stamp. No, that's the wrong one. What was the last one? Uh, this one is. What's a glue pen? It's glue. This is not your average pen, it's actually glue. Apply it to your paper material and stick it while wet for a tight bond. If you let the glue dry before sticking, it turns any note into a sticky note, the perfect tool for scrapbooking and note taking. So there you go. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I can give that away. Cause can you huff it like glue? I don't want to like give away stuff that people may need to be over 16 to have. We'll see. Next we have, this is Little Fairy Tale and it's like a lipstick but it's actually an eraser and yeah, I don't really have much else to say about that. We have a pencil, a mechanical pencil mechanical pencil with a rubber at the end so like would you need to pull that off to get the pencil i don't know but it's called a rocket pencil so yeah pixel rocket pencil these pixel animals are chomping around this rocket pencil when the tip gets dull just push the capsule through the bottom to the viewer all right uh, then we have Choco and Cookie, whoever the hell that are, and those are adorable flake stickers, apparently. I think they're just little stickers of the actual bears. See them in there? Next we have a letter set, which I enjoy the hell out of. I enjoy it when you get little letter sets. I think they're very, very cute. Um, this one is just little cats. We can't sleep them. And then the envelope looks like a cat looking at some fish. Um, and it just says anything. Where are you? Oh, there you go. Mm, yeah, this says the relaxing pads. I don't know. And lastly, we have something Hello Kitty, but Hello Kitty's maybe had too much sugar or something. My pupils look extra large. This seems to be, this says pouch set. So this case, keep your notes and tools organised. This Hello Kitty pouch set, she is on scent ready in the sleepy suit. So yeah, it's literally just plastic pouches with three of them and they're covered in Hello Kitty. So that wasn't bad. I prefer the last one, but that wasn't bad. Right. We have two boxes left. And then I'm going to go and convince Marcus to get a takeaway. I feel like I deserve takeaway. So I do. Um, hot sprinkles for $2. Why don't you love me like you did in Ankara? I don't know what that means. I'm really sorry, but I appreciate $2. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, right. While I'm opening the other two boxes, I need you all to tell me what you're having for your dinner because I need I need um, inspiration because <sighs> eating is hard. <laughs> eating food is difficult because everything makes me want to die. So tell me quickly what you're having for your dinner. Inspire me. Ooh.
we'll do Doki Doki now, and it's quite big, so. Hello? Bonjour. I'm Stephen. Are you? Aye. Alright. Hmm. Uh, hot sprinkles for ten dollars. Oh, just get the damn takeaway. I know. Marcus, can we get a takeaway? Can we get Domino's? Domino's? Aye, Will you be Domino's? Aye, but I just want a small one. I just want a small one. Okay, that was easy. What are you having? James is having chicken parma. Daz Radici is having Texas barbecue. Is that like the pizza? Shutter is having Chinese. Grim 2 says omelette with garlic bread and chicken breast. Chicken and omelette? I don't know how I feel about that. Surely having a chicken omelette is like eating the mum and the baby at the same time. Oh, Jeremy gave me a hundred dollars and says spend this on a chastity belt. Right. Well, like, everyone's already made jokes. But, but, but you have to age you can send sixteen and shit like that. That's wild, right? Aye. Mm. But that's the thing is I can I can't say anything about it because me and Jeremy did the exact same thing to Bailey. Aye. Aye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Right. This box is full of the gunnels. So it looks like we have a blanket that has sloths on it. And it says Petite Colon. So that's lovely. Sorry, I thought I could smell something, but it's just the dogs. Right. I mean, I don't know. I just, I just fully discarded that. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just a, a blanket with sloth on it. I mean, it's pretty cool, but I don't think I'll use it. So let's see what it says about it. So this box, I think, is supposed to be like a nighttime box. So it says, "Watch your stargazing crate." So yeah, it's all nighttime stuff. So starry sloth blanket. So when you open it. It looks like that. Bronson, if you could stop. Bronson, can you stop? Thank you. That's Bronson making that mad smacking noise. We have this. What is this? It's sealed. I'm too scared to open it. Oh. Right, okay. Okay, so it's like Kirby with the face. It's a Kirby umbrella holder. What? What? Hold on. Shut up. Right, so that's that's the thing you get with it. Now, does it. That looks like a walking stick to me, but oh, it's a hand of an umbrella. But that's what you're supposed to do. Apparently, you're supposed to put that Kirby on the table and your umbrella won't fall over. I mean, it's not heavy. Your umbrella is falling over, also, there's a face. That's just that. Just that, tell you. Next, we have this bear. It says Royal Baby Bear. These baby bears are galactic royalty. They're extra cute in their starry bows and shiny crowns. Hang them on your bag. I mean, no, I won't. No. I feel like for the price of these boxes, that wee toy could have been like a Sanrio character. 
rather than this royal baby bear thing. I think I'm just crabbing because I'm hungry. Next we have a wee pouch or like a wee purse. And it says a uh, Velakuma. Is it Velakuma? Oh, it is. So that's not bad. At least we have one character. So yeah, uh, apparently that's them enjoying the um, the nighttime, enjoying the stars or whatever. So that's how that works out under that theme. And lastly, we have a cinema roll lamp. Now, the lamps are quite good. I must say they are quite good. So these lamps project pictures, and this one projects this cinema roll image. I don't know if you can see that. But that's pretty cool. So it's, it's that image there. So that box was terrible. So that's good. Some of the stuff was terrible, but some of the stuff wasn't. The lamp made it okay. The lamp and the blankets, that's not so bad. Let me catch up on what you're seeing first, and then I'll open the last box. Can I get a break? Right. Um, some white male says, congrats on the baby. Thanks very much. Estella, just watched your gender reveal. Congratulations. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. I actually don't know how to be a mother to anything that's female because I'm so used to like mother and Marcus and the dogs that I don't know I can look after a female. Obviously I will and it'll be fine. But I just, um, I don't know. I just don't know what I'm doing. I suppose people that aren't already mums don't know what they're doing. Uh, what else is happening here? Saskia loves the sloth blanket. I mean, it looks alright. I think it's like that squeaky, squeaky fabric stuff. Uh, Hot Sprinkle says, I sent for two and Marcus so hard always for two dollars. Thank you very much. I don't know. I don't know. Um, People always get a bad rap for like simping. But I simp punish people. I simp like um I can't, I said hunch people, I can't think of anyone there. Uh, like Reddit Goya and Sean Head and uh Creep Show and well Creepshow Art. Like there's hundreds of them that like I I I I, I on their Patreon and um like if being a patron for someone isn't something I don't know what is. And I'm definitely like patrons of people because it's the best way to support them in it. Uh, I'm a patron for um, the Snark Tank, so that's technically three careers. So does that mean I sim for all three of you then? That's fine. I'm not right with it. Eastie for $50, 50 euros, sorry, thank you so much. Um, hey Sue, first best wishes for your coming baby. Really happy for the both of you and well, both of you and Marcus. I'm also really looking forward to see what you think of the stuff I send on the new box. Every box has a small tip. The B unit cans open from the bottom. Julian, oh, hello, how are you doing? I've actually opened, I've opened, uh, what did I open? I opened all three of the boxes. One that was glued shut, it was absolutely chock full of um, rations, like absolutely chock full of them. Uh, so we need to get rations done. We need to actually open some of these rations because we've sent so much. But um, I think, I'll, did some of them come with uh, the the words escape me? The burner, the flameless burner. Um, and then we opened one box that had whiskey in it that Marcus took photos of and put it on Twitter. And um, he's over the moon with those. And then one box had cereal that I took video of and posted it on Instagram and Twitter. Um, and it was full of cereal. And I enjoyed. I ate the cocoa pops. I tried the cinnamon flakes, but they, they, they hurt me. They were very, very, very hot, but my taste buds are everywhere. So I've kept the one for when I'm not pregnant and I can eat it and it's not weird. But you've spent far too much. Um we do have to get through those rations. I enjoyed the chef's hat that you sent us and I enjoyed the the, the trees. I actually like I think I screamed a wee bit when I seen the trees. There's so many good stuff in that box. So I appreciate you sending those boxes so much. And I also appreciate 50 euros, which is far too much. You send too much, you do too much. But I appreciate loads. Thank you very much, Julian. 
Um, random bears, random. Um, I want a galaxy projector. That would be quite cool. Someone get Marcus a swear jar. He's great. Need it. I think I swear more than Marcus. I'll be honest. Right. This is this is where I have to stand up and try and get comfortable again. Ooh. Ooh. Right. Smashing. Okay. I think we're comfortable. And I'm sitting on my leg. That's why I'm higher up. Okay. So we've one box left. And do you see what I mean? Like it's sealed with like that plastic circle. So there was no way that that was, and it's very, very strong, that sticker, so there's no way that, that wasn't on, I don't know, I don't know, just for the last one, you know, the last one was weird. So this box, the theme is crafty and cute. The book fell apart. Uh, right. So, roll the sleeves up for the last box. Initially, the first thing you get is a big plush, and I'm sure, pretty sure this is a, a Samiko Garashi plush. But it's weird looking, it's almost like um, it's got those holes like you would get in like gym trainers, you know? But it's one of those good ones, one of those like um, memory foam. So that's cute. I like that, I like that a lot. Put that there. Oh, next we have a Hello Kitty tub. Contains container box small, 140 milliliters. Look how cute that wee box is. That's adorable. I'm sorry, but he's only getting this. This is mine. Very, very cute. I do enjoy. I'm a sucker for stationery, man. Next we have a pen, maybe? Just simple scissors. What are you? Collapsible pocket scissors. Yeah, I can't give this away because that's like a weapon. Um, because it looks like a pen, but actually it's sharp scissors. And if you look at the picture, like it actually looks quite dangerous. So yeah, I can't give that away. Also, I'm really sorry, but I've got itchy nose. Ah, right. So yeah, you're not getting that, but I would have given away if it didn't look so dangerous. Next, we have a ruler. Foldable protractor ruler. That's cool. Then, I think lastly, yeah, that's the last one, we have a Sanrio sewing kit. So that's weird. This one is the little, uh, little twin stars. What do you sew? I think you end up sewing this. So you sew this together, and it turns into a key ring. So, I mean, that's quite a cute wee activity, actually. There's all your bits inside. That's quite cool, actually. It's very, very different. I've never seen anything like that before. Well, in one of these boxes, anyway. And I can give that away because the needle is plastic. So that's it. So that's cool. I really like that. That's quite cute. And that's that box empty because it had a plush in it. And that's all my boxes. So, out of all those things, what I'm keeping is the dangerous stabby numbers, the toothbrush is probably disgusting, and two dishes, two tubs. I like having tubs because um, I like to have snacks. <laughs> and I can carry snacks around with me in my wee tubs. So, there you go. So that was six boxes and this big pile of stuff. Um, now I'm going to, there's um, someone's birthday that I'm going to send them some stuff. So some of this is going to go to them and the rest is going to go in the box that's below my desk that I fill with all the other stuff and then collect till I've got a good collection of all. And then I do giveaways. So some point in the future, I will do a giveaway. What I'll probably do is wait for the next stream I have some cohesive idea of what kind of giveaway I'm going to do because I never seem to have an idea. I always just do a stream and then in the middle of it go, I'll do a giveaway and then make it up as I go along. So I need to think of something more cohesive. So that's what I'll do. Um, so let's let's see what you are saying. 
Also, while I'm reading these, um, I have asked people on Twitter to um, comment their assumptions of me or assumptions of anything like me, Marcus, the dogs, my family, and like assumptions. And I, I will do a video answering assumptions because I think they're quite fun. So if you have any assumptions, go to my Twitter to that post and please tell me the assumptions. And if you do post them, please know that I will screenshot your actual assumption and put it on the video. So if you don't want people to see it, don't post it. <laughs> Um, what he's all saying. Lover of all souls says, how are you and baby Buddhista? Um, yeah, we're okay. Uh, pregnancy's not been very kind to me, uh, but I'm okay. And the baby is brilliant. Every scan we have, the baby is just, she's just jumping about. Like, she doesn't ever sit still. Um, they find it really hard to get any scans of her because she's just like moving her arms and kicking her legs and crossing things and the last scan we had she actually kept like turning her face into the, the thing so you kept getting scans of her face it was terrifying but it looked like actually it looked like Bronson it was just this skull with these big massive eyeballs um, so yeah but she, so I'm happy that she keeps moving um, it's sad that I don't get to see a nice before but it's okay because at least she's active enough so there's nothing wrong with her in that sense it's not like she's like doesn't have it in her to kick around or anything um i'm only 14 weeks but you can like i am showing and you can you can feel when she moves to the front of my stomach um and it's very painful because i had ivf so my ovaries are massive so you think my womb going and it's now pushing against my ovaries but sometimes she moves to the front and she pushes against the ovaries and it's very sore. But other than that, everything's great. I do miss eating. <laughs> but everything's good. Uh, yeah, the MRE box was glued really shut. They do have them um, flameless heaters ration. I, I thought that, so um, because they've got the flameless heaters in them, Sorry, he's talked about me in the next room, I can hear him. Because they've got them in them, they're safe to use in the house, aren't they? So I think what we're going to do is wait one day, open the back door, clear it all so that we set the full table all clear, and then we'll try and like, use some of the flameless heater rations, Julian, and um, yeah, see how we get on. But we've still got rations for the last box you sent us, plus the rations in this box, um, so we really do have to get through them. I just don't know when, <laughs> but we will definitely try our hard, I promise. Um, it's that, are you and Mark is going to try for more children? Congratulations on the little girl. Um, yeah, I mean, we've got two embryos that are viable in the freezer today, so we can obviously use them. So we've got an A, a B and a C. So the A embryo was transferred and that's who the wee girls turned away. Um, but obviously we need to wait until I've had one before we can have more. And But if these embryos don't work, they don't take, we would have to go through IVF it all over again. And that's a whole other discussion you have at that time. So the, the answer is, it's complicated. <laughs> but we do, have, we do have embryos sitting there and we would like to have more than one child. So. Um, what else are you saying? Simon Chandler says hello. Hello. Steve Martin says, be funny to see someone like Marcus chasing people who upset his daughter with a claymore sword unless you use the sword first. Um, yeah, he's definitely threatening violence against anyone who hurts our daughter, which is quite funny. I do enjoy it. He's very scared. God bless him. Jesus Christ, my only assumption about you is that you are a balance of spicy and wholesome. I don't even think I'm spicy. But thanks. I don't really know how you feel about that. I don't know. I think, um, I actually don't think I'm as wholesome as you think I am. <laughs> but, I don't know. Um, 
Romo come through lane two. My missus is one week after you, and I'm hoping for a girl, as we already have one. Oh, that's nice. Congratulations. Um, the only reason we know the gender just now is because we did the harmony test. Um, but I think you need to wait, is it 14 or 16 weeks or something before you can find out the gender? So I'll keep my fingers crossed for you that you, you get the girl that you want. But I'm sure you'll be happy if you have boys, though. Uh, Violet Alice Evans says, oh my God, is she pregnant? Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> Um, it's a last <laughs> stick. You're so funny. Right, I'm going to go because I've opened six boxes. I've been on here for 55 minutes and while I was talking to you, I had another video that rendered. So I'm now going to go upload that to Patreon because I neglected my patrons for a week. Yeah. So they're going to go get that video so I need to upload that and then eat pizza. So, yeah, I also have a Zoom call to do with my friends. So, yeah, I'm going to go. This was lovely. And next one, I'll do I'll empty some boxes. Empty some boxes? I'll open some boxes. I suppose that is empty in them. Yeah. And I will organise a giveaway because I've got hundreds of stuff. So, yeah. So, I'll go for now. And have a nice weekend. Here at September weekend, I don't know if you celebrate that in another country. If you do, have a nice September weekend. If you don't, have a nice weekend anyway. It happens to be in September. Goodbye.